hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is myself here it is always pleasant to have you here if today is the first time stopping by hello there and welcome so today we are making our favorite tea bread this is our famous Ghana tea bread and the process is so simple to make so if you want to know how I made this deliciousness please stay with me till the end and let's make this together part of my subs kitchen you proud to be part of my subs kitchen in my bowl i have my bread flour i have my melted butter i have here my nutmeg this is my granulated sugar i have here my yeast I have here my butter flavoring powder, this is optional. I have my warm water and some salt to taste. So into my warm water, I'll go in with my yeast and then add in my granulated sugar. I had only two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I'll go ahead and mix this all together until everything is well combined. So on this side, I have my flour. I will come in with my butter flavoring powder, add my nutmeg and go ahead and add my salt and then mix everything together. This is a very simple recipe and you will love the end results. You don't need any special tool for this recipe. At this point, it's time to bring in my yeast mixture. Yes, this is an instant yeast, so you don't have to even let it prove. I added in my melted butter, and then I'll go ahead and stir everything up until it is well combined before I dig in with my hands. At this point, I will come in with my Greek yogurt. You can also use plain yogurt for this. It makes your bread soft and it tastes amazing. So I'll go ahead and mix this all together until everything is well combined. This is so delicious. If you haven't tried anything like this before, please give it a try. You will love it. If today is the first time stopping by, hello there and welcome. My name is Masov. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so to subscribe and also follow me on Facebook, Masov's Kitchen, TikTok, Masov's Kitchen, Instagram, Masov's Kitchen for more and simple delicious recipes. Midofupa and a yeye tea bread and the senior who said my yena ma mixing afe ye de flour kakra ebigu ye working surface nafe ye de ye do na beto so. Nafi ye need no for some time. Inti so you soon sabit me need in a bear from twelve to fifteen minutes. We will need our dough between twelve to fifteen minutes to develop some gluten in there. Yes, that's a very simple process. At this point you can see that the dough is very sticky, but if you continue kneading it, the stickiness will disappear and you will have a great dough here just look at that so simple you just hit it on your working surface and it's also a process of kneading your bread when you press on your dough and it doesn't come back it means you have a great dough so i smeared some oil in my bowl and on top of my dough and i'll cover it with my clean film set it aside for about 40 minutes for it to double or triple in size so this is what i got here after about 40 minutes so as you can see we have a very beautiful dough here i'll go ahead and divide it into my preferred sizes so i can work on each one this is so so simple to make and the tasting here will amaze you kindly give this recipe a try and i know your family will love it if you want your dough to be equal, don't forget to use a scale, okay? Yes. Order for your tea bread now, you go to know what I'm saying. Aha, you don't. I have very soft pan, and this out on some yummy and super. And one, they say, a more treachery, nothing, what cosona, I feel what can, and would do not at a tosso, nothing, I ate a brood on. Only the special two beers or the bears are the way, you know. 
Aha. Uh-huh. When you say away we, yes, I'm trying back on every. Oh, very simple to make. Forming the loaf here is very simple to make. Just follow the process and you can make it. It is very simple. Just like that, you are done. Yes, just like this. You see? Yes. So onto my baking sheet, I will spread some flour on it. Yes. We all know that tea bread, you have to spread some flour underneath and on top of the dough. Or you can carefully roll your bread into flour before placing it on your baking sheet so this is what we have here i will go ahead and cover my bread for just about 15 minutes before it goes into the oven just look at that and before it goes into the oven i'll go ahead and sprinkle some flour on top of it and i'm preheating my oven at 180 degrees okay and this goes right into our oven for just about 15 to 20 minutes and this is what we have here every oven works differently so please be sure of how yours works okay keep on checking on it so it doesn't burn now once we have our tea bread we need some eggs to go with it and that's why i'm frying some eggs to go with my tea bread it tastes amazing just look at this guys and it's so simple to make kindly give this recipe a try if you really like this video please give me some thumbs up comment like and share this video with your family and friends until i come your way next time with another simple but yet delicious recipes bye for now smack like eater